Good morning, folks. Out here in the yard, me and JT. And uh, gonna just uh, get ready to go in. It's a little drizzly this Sunday morning. And uh, that's not, uh, not good. I need it to be dry for a couple of days. Looks like the irises are coming out. I've got them in different colors. Let's see if I got a, a blue over here, kind of a violet and then, well, that's violet. And then I got some purple and I'll have some white come out. They don't last very long, but uh, they're pretty. And you can hear the, hear the birds chirping out here. Always love that. And uh, anyway, we'll go back in. Today we're gonna do it a little different. I'm gonna show you six items that I sold yesterday and I shipped yesterday because I always, uh, like I tell, uh, tell, I've told you before, if if somebody pays for something early in the morning before I go to the post office, I give them same day service and get it out. So I ship, uh, I, yesterday my phone was dinging while I was making the video and I had six sales. So those six items went out yesterday, the same day they purchased them. Uh, and then I've had six during the day yesterday and last night and we'll pull those. We're not gonna, I haven't shipped them yet. Um, I printed a couple of the labels cause I know what they're gonna be in, but uh, we're gonna go pull those and make mix it up a little bit. I'll show you what I sold on the screen yesterday and shipped, and then I'll show you six items that I gotta pull. Hopefully we can find them all easily. And, uh, and then JT, of course, you know, he got some jokes for you, so. Uh, go ahead, JT. Now, good morning. It's a cap guy show from outside today. And uh, he's a cap guy, and <laughs> I'm JT in Oklahoma. Hey, what do you call a an animal with a bad hair day? I don't know, a frisbee. Oh, JT, that's horrible. That's just, oh, come on, man, oh man. All right, well, let's go back inside. How about that? And uh, we'll get this done. A little dark in here. It's not too much. I mean, it's been sun up for a little bit, but the first thing we're gonna do is uh, we'll go ahead and show you what I sold and shipped, and then uh, um, and then we'll uh, pull the others. And uh, uh, what? You trying to rob me a mother joke? <laughs> All right, go ahead. Where do animals go when their tails fall off? I don't have a clue where animals go when their tails fall off. The retail store, Goober. Oh, there you go. Call me. He's calling me names again. Man, I swear. I take you outside, and what do I get? Hmm. Anyway. All right. We'll get into this. First item I sold yesterday was this uh, PS2 game. It's called Black, and uh, nothing special about it. It's not worth a lot of money. Um but I did sell it and I paid a dollar for it. Sold it for $7 plus shipping. It went first class. I made $4 and 50 pennies on it. The next one is pretty, uh, pretty nice. Actually, I got this, uh, uh, at a yard sale, excuse me. It's, um, Superwoman dress and it's not a cheap costume. It's a, it's a nice one. Um, I, uh, Sold this for $18 plus priority shipping, and I ended up making $17.30 pennies on that one. Made a little bit on shipping. The next one I bought a week ago or a little over a week ago on a private pick, it's Crossword Puzzles, and I thought that this was a book of Crossword Puzzles. But really what it is is a calendar from 1999. It's never been used, as you can see. It's got different crossword puzzles and like a little calendar desk type setup. I paid a dollar for this at a private pick and I sold it for $10. I was kind of worried it wouldn't sell. And then uh, that ended up going media mail because it, it just wasn't enough profit in it to make it go up higher so, uh, to first class and it was gonna cost a pretty good amount. So not to eat into the profit too much, I still made 750 on it. Uh, yesterday, if you watched my video, you saw me with the Ross finds. This is about the fourth item I've sold here in the last week. Uh, again, when they have their clearances in January, hit them up because you can find some good deals just like this one. This was a $49.99 Under Armour women's vest. 
And, uh, and of course, now we'll glitch. Um, it was originally $49.99. Uh, I got it for two forty nine. That's right, two dollars and forty nine cents, and I sold it for twenty four forty nine with free shipping. But it was so light, it only cost me um, two dollars and seventy eight cents to ship it. So I made sixteen dollars and twenty five cents. Uh, the next item I sold, and I bought these last week at that private pick. I didn't know what they were. Um, uh, an older gentleman in there, older than me, uh, told me that, uh, well, here we go again, um, that these were aerating shoes for like sod or like a golf course would use. And there's cleats on the bottom, and I was hoping to show you those. Oh, here we go. And they're, they're about a, they're large, but they're about a 13-inch shoe. And as you can see, they got spikes on them. And... She said she'd sell them for $10. I had comped them while I was standing there looking at them. It looks like they sold for about $45 with free shipping. So I bought them for $10, put them on eBay for $41 with free shipping. Little did I know it was going to cost. I had to put them in a 12 by 12 by 8 number 7 box. And with the weight and everything, it ended up costing me $13.74. So I won't do free shipping in the future. I may lower the price a little bit, but... I still sold them, and I still made $11.70 profit, and profit is profit. And then the last thing that I don't have to pull that I shipped yesterday is this San Francisco 49er jersey. It's Vernon Davis, who played there uh, out of college. Uh, he was drafted um, and uh, out of there and out of Virginia Tech, I believe. And uh, Vernon Davis jersey, it's stitched or sewn, as I call them. Um, it is a 56 and, uh, I paid, what did I pay for this? $4.99, sold it for $21.25 with priority shipping and I ended up making $12.40 on it. So now we are going to go pull the six items that I sold during the night after I have a sip of coffee. And we'll talk about those as we go. So let's get going. Um, let's see. I'm just looking at my list again to make sure I know what I'm pulling. And if I have to come back, I'll come back. And if y'all like this, let me know and I'll do it in the future. I just, I like shipping quickly. And at night I like doing my shipping, but obviously these things sold at night. Uh, see, the first one is going to be, and I'll just show you what I'm doing. Camo pants and all my camo pants are right up here with my bib overalls. And these actually the first ones are them. These are uh, Outred, Outfitter Ridge camo pants. And uh, these are youth eights. So I think I got $10 for these plus priority shipping. And I'll go through those. So I'll set these down. Next is a set of knives, and I think I have one in the house, and the rest are in the garage. Uh, oh, here we are. Okay, so now y'all can see these unpackaged, and this is what, what they look like. Um, so I'm trying to get a better angle here with that glare. So you get a set of uh, basically six knives, and then it doesn't show it on here, but there's two juicers inside too. So $27.89, I know I sold that for that. 985 shipping. I think this was going to Texas. So the shipping's not going to be quite as much. So I should make about $21 on that. The next item is some boppets. I gotta get rid of these tubs right here. They're uh unlisted stuff, and I gotta get that stuff listed. Uh boppets, bop. Here they are. There's one. I got this at the bins, and I got this at a yard sale for a dollar. Sold these for $30 used, plus shipping. So I'm going to make probably $23, $24 after shipping. I haven't figured out those. It's going uh, in a box. Okay, in case you don't know what these things... Well, I ain't going to play with that. What's next? Uh, puzzle. Let's see, that's one, two, three... Still got three more to pull. 
puzzle, Jane's, something or another. Puzzles are down here. Is it that one? Nope, it's this one. So, yep, that's it. 750 piece puzzle. Looks pretty intricate. Um, yeah, Jane Wooster Scott over the rainbow. Paid a buck, sold it for, um, no, paid 75 cents for this and sold it for $8.99 plus shipping. So I'll check that before I ship it to make sure they're all there. I hate to count 750 pieces, but I think I can get a general idea. Um, let's see, boppets, knives. Oh, convict jumpsuit. Sold another one of them. And I usually pay anywhere from a couple dollars up to about six fifty. Six say so it's gonna be two X, so probably right in here. DOC, yep, that's them. And I have a I have them in different colors, orange, blue. Uh, people ask all the time why why people buy convict jumpsuits, and obviously they're for costume parties and other things that I won't go into. Uh, but uh, when you buy them, I don't care what you do with them. And the last item, we have to go in my closet. Dun, 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 dun. And this is where I keep all my my jerseys. And as you can see, uh, of course, I got my personal clothes. These are my personal jerseys, my cowboys, all my longhorn stuff, and I got a bunch of it. And then these are all NFL down here up to about here, and then they go to college, and football, these are all football, and then they go into baseball and soccer and cycling and that kind of stuff, basketball, and then over here I got hockey, and then NBA, and I've got a lot of them. So I'm looking for a Jerry Rice, and it stands out because it's an all-star, it's not a typical color. I can see a jersey, and pretty much when I see a jersey, uh, on a rack as soon as i see the color i know if it's authentic or not and or you know what team it is all that stuff i just know a lot about those things so now we will i'm just turning off lights i'm real anal about lights being on and water being on okay and i'll show you this i gotta have to lay this out a little bit this is an all-star jersey it's really cool it's a probo uh 19, was it 90? Yeah, Hawaii 1996. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Pro Bowls um, or NBA All-Star games. I just, I'd rather watch the teams play, not the, I mean, it's more about show and I, I'm more competitive than that. So it is Mitchell and Ness. Mitchell and Ness jerseys are some of the highest dollar jerseys you can buy. Um, but when you resell them, they don't always garner a ton of money. I mean, I've got a few of them and I've got a few hats that are Mitchell and Ness. Buying them initially, very high. Selling them, uh, depends on who it is and what it is, but they're not, uh, I guess what I would call super valuable, but you do want to pick them up. I mean, you can sell them for 50, 60, 70 dollars. And some a little more, but when you buy them initially, sometimes you're going to pay $300 for one. So uh, that's just something you want to be looking out for is Mitchell and Ness. Um, they're not bad to, to find, and, and obviously I wouldn't buy them outright. I'm not ever, ever going to pay that much for a jersey. Uh, on the day, I had 12 sales, $49.61 at cost of goods, $268.57, and I still got a figure out the boppets and the puzzle, but I should end up with about 156 profit off of 268 sales, which um, again, I'll take. It's Saturday's usually a little, better, a little better than that, but 12 sales is 12 sales and it's profit. So um, we'll take it. Um, Y'all have a great rest of your weekend and uh, stay safe. And please like and share and subscribe as always. I'm still seven away from hitting 200, so help me out. And uh, me and JT would appreciate it. We did watch a little bit of Lonnie and John and their wives last night. And, uh, I won't say anything else, but it was a little fun, but got a little slow too. So uh, most of the music that they play, I mean, it's a mixture, but 
they're younger, so they're if it's mid eighties or before, I don't care what genre it is, I'm in the game and I'm probably gonna be really good at it. But anything past mid eighties, um, I'm not gonna be as good and and uh some of the modern stuff I just don't know. So um I won't give any opinions on my music on what I think about music nowadays, but uh I guess that's part of my aging process. But music back in the day, in my opinion, was the best. But again, my mother probably said that too about the fifties and, and I do love that music too. Um, and a lot of the, the songs you hear are, are repeats of that. And they were when I was a kid and I'd say, Oh, that's a great song. My mom said, you know, that was made in the fifties. Uh, no, it wasn't. Yeah, yeah, it was. And it was. So that's just part of it, I guess. And, uh, again, y'all like, and subscribe, help me get to 200. I really would appreciate it. And as I'm going to start saying every day, cab guy out, talk to you tomorrow.